Hello everyone, welcome. Today we are talking about Alliance Blocks NXRA, a low cap play in my portfolio and what it could be worth in 2025. Now remember, when it comes to price predictions, they're pretty fruitless, right? It's just someone else's opinion. And in today's video, it's just my opinion. So feel free to agree or disagree and take the numbers that I give with a pinch of salt. This video is definitely more in the fun speculation territory. So before we go into predictions, let's talk about what Alliance Block is all about. Okay, so first up, what is Alliance Block? Alliance Block on the website states it's an infrastructure for decentralized tokenized markets. It's empowering businesses to tokenize assets and compliantly issue, manage and trade in an inclusive financial ecosystem. So in short, it's a decentralized finance solution making traditional finance more accessible to everyone. They have a huge range of financial products and services like payment services, loan facilities and investment management tools. So in short, all you need to remember is bridging TradFi to DeFi, eliminating all of the regulatory issues and it is a first of its kind. And before we go into NXRA's utility as a token, let's talk about ALBT, the whole situation, the hack preceding NXRA. So very quickly, Bonk Dow hack explained. So we can see here, 113 million ALBT tokens were illegally accessed before the hacker attempted to sell these on various exchanges. So it is a bug on the implementation of the price Oracle, a third party protocol. Alliance Block had no input or control over the design and they insisted that smart contracts, platforms, solutions were not affected by the whole situation. They handled it perfectly and the whole transition we've seen from the old ALBT token, the legacy token, to the new NXRA token. And if we can draw any out, what are the actual positives of the hack itself? Well, firstly, it actually accelerated the roadmap. 150 million tokens were deleted, so it went from 1 billion to 8 150 million max supply, which one helped them create the DAO, allowed the first proposal, many more coming. So it really was a switch from a company to a decentralized organization. So with that transition explained, let's go into the utility of NX survey. Now, if you are a regular on the channel, you know I like to compare the mark cap of a crypto to the actual total addressable market that they are tackling. For example, we think about decentralized finance, and traditional finance and bridging up. For example, firstly, in a latest research study, we've seen decentralized finance market share is valued at 11.96 billion in 2021 and projected to grow to 232 billion by 2030. Insane. And when you think about the traditional finance, it comes to mind like banks, hedge funds, brokerages, you cannot put a number on that. But talk about bridging that value. It's definitely a lot more than the mark cap of 50 million. And now if I focus on NXRV's utility, I will leave this down below for anyone wanting to look further. We're going to skim over this very, very quickly. But we can see here, NXRV's main purpose is to accelerate the potential of the entire Alliance Block ecosystem. It powers the adoption of the Xeta Protocol Alliance Block technology and all the individual parts of the end-to-end -end DeFi infrastructure. So in short, this means any current or future use case that utilizes these protocols will use NXRA as a means of payment, reputation, reward, and much more. Shown in this picture of their vision of the utility for NXRA, we can see means of reputation, reward, exchange, governance, access and adoption i'm interested in means of award staking your nxra whatever the api be a portion of the processing fees and means of exchange nxra being the core utility token when it comes to all transaction mechanisms across the whole ecosystem huge huge utility now moving on to the actual products where an extra ray be used for utility one being funders a platform a financing platform based on reputation and merit we also have a DeFi terminal mainly based around things DeFi, liquidity mining yield farming staking and whatnot and also an Xeta id a digital identity solution and so now i've explained what alliance block is the hack, the situation, proceeding NXRA with ALBT, and what NXRA itself is all about. Now on to the predictions, the main part of the video. I put it into three categories, a bearish scenario, expected scenario, 
and a bullish scenario when it comes to price. First up we're bearish, just go into any of these articles that are predicting prices for any crypto for that matter. But for NX Array, here we have one by Avanade. They're always so, so bearish. They must use some software or robot to predict this. Very, very bearish. So for 2025, a maximum price would be 43 cents and a minimum of 38 cents. When you invest in low cap projects like this, where the risk is higher, the returns are higher. These are sort of returns you expect when it comes to a three, four, five X in a fee for example, a high cap cryptocurrency. And when it comes to expected predictions, it's perfect for NX Array because we have previous product, which is ALBT, right? With that token, we can expect these predictions again, because what I've said before is we pretty much have the same project, the same fundamentals, but a lower market cap and lower supply. It can only go better, but expected in my opinion would be the previous returns we saw for ALBT. So let's go over here. There's a lot of fluctuations, but let's just say you bought in at seven cents and you sold around 91 cents there, that little bit of a peak. That's a 13X on your investment. Let's just say you sold at that point, you rebought around 20 cents, you bought the dip and you resold again. It does say $1.22, but it's $1.35. That is a 6.75X. And if you held all the way from 7 cents, that is a 19.2X on your investment. And for most bullish price predictions I can possibly give, I'm going to take the supply into consideration. That decrease from 1 billion to 850 million, a 15% decrease. So a 15% increase on the actual final result of $1.35 would be $1.55 NXRA. That is personally the most bullish price prediction I can give for this asset. So those are my predictions. Bearish, 43 cents, expected $1.35, and bullish $1.55. One thing I've learned in crypto is to lower your expectations, especially when it comes to the profit-taking process. And when it comes to crypto, Twitter, YouTube, whatever the platform may be, there's always going to be crazy predictions. For example, $15 per NXRA in this tweet. For context right now, if NXRA took HBAR's market cap, it'd be a 32x, putting it at $2, nowhere near 15. And HBAR is 33rd out of all cryptos in terms of market capitalization. When it comes to profit taking process, if you believe it's going to $15 and you won't take anything else for an answer, it's going to become really difficult. You know, if, even if you're at 32x in your investment, if you invested $5,000, your investment is sitting at 160 grand, you're going to find it difficult to actually take profit below $15. But if you set your expectations lower, you can take profit, you can enjoy the ride, and any higher that you go down these predictions, it's really just a bonus. And that to me is really where it separates the winner from a bull market and the loser from a bull market. Everyone can see the portfolio increase, go up to the moon, see gains, but not a lot of people, not many people do take an adequate amount of profit actually making money on those gains. But that's pretty much it for today's video. We've made it far. Thank you very, very much for watching. Please leave a like down below and I'll definitely see you guys in the next one.